on the first few days of my stroke. Sadness, loss of hope, depression, because I felt that was almost the end of the world for me. When I was in the acute ward, the stroke acute ward, I feel very uneasy, hopeless, helpless, very emotional. I don't know those distractions that will come into my thoughts. When I looked at him, how could he have been in that position, not able to eat, and half the body was not moving. And uh, I was very worried. It was really very, very shocking and sad as well. Why did it happen like that? She has got all the schedule busy. She got to, we take care of her health and so on. How come she can get a stroke? The only answer is that it's luck. After the stroke, I find that my mobility level is very low. I need a walking stick and I have a terrible fear of falling because I fell down three times. I felt being discriminated by people. People look at me differently. Because I don't have siblings, I can't call anyone for help. Though I have friends in Singapore, but when it comes to finances, it will be difficult for me. Because his sign can mean a lot of things, and you have to guess. Those days are the days that is very difficult for me, and also very. What? What? How you feel? You're angry. It's, yeah, yeah. It's angry. Yeah. I can't get so mm. simple, and yet I can't get. Yeah. So, those are the frustrations mm. that I have. Families and uh, relatives were struggling to cope with the stress of stroke and the patients were getting the brunt of it. So we realised that that gap needed to be filled. After some internal discussions among our team, we felt that maybe we should put a group together, a small stroke support group. And Anne and Leibing were with me in this from the very beginning. We worked together in getting people who could work together with us on forming a small support group in Tando Singh Hospital. By having peer support amongst uh, stroke survivors and the family caregivers uh, who, are, who are facing mm. that, that, that uh, challenge of looking after the person mm. with a the stroke, they can you know, share the experiences, mm. learn how to manage mm. these uh, stroke patients. Upon my discharge, I came to know Singapore National Stroke Association. I went into it to look for more information. My work with the SNSA, I also initiated by having me volunteer to join the International Stroke Association. So this are part of my advocacy work. She gave her art, which was her love in the first place. Now after a stroke, she can still paint. I love that. I love that. When I paint, I think of only the enjoyment, the relaxation, the relief from the stress of life. The art sessions are not so much as art itself, but it's the interaction the members are having with each other. Now when I meet those members, I seem to find them like they're my best old friends. He has never left his stick. He stick like a security blanket. He must have this stick. When he was doing bowling, with the help of Chin, one of the coach, he able to stand up, and then he was able to bowl. I think it's very be beneficial yeah. for us because I can see that you have yeah. opened up more and yeah. I have more confidence. Until today, he can yeah. walk a bit of steps and enjoy his life. Yeah. yeah. This befriending service is a bed-to-bed -bed talking with a patient, to interact with a patient. We are not medical professionals, but we are human sharing of experience. It's a human touch sharing of experience. We at SNSA would like to reach out to as many stroke survivors and their families as we can. And we realized that would involve having activities around different parts of Singapore. 
and not always just one activity in one central location, for example. I think one of the other ways that we hope um, to have greater outreach is through the Stroke Portal. Um, and this portal will allow people to at any time access information. Um, it will also have videos which can help people to um, participate in some activities, even in their own homes. Um, and I think outreach is key for us. We hope that we will see unity. We will see more voices and uh, can really grow as uh, a caring society. I survive, you will survive. I recover, you will recover. For the stroke survival, I think knowledge is very important, information is equally important. Support is the most important because it props up the person. It's a long journey and he still had the hope. Yeah. He still had hope, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all thanks yeah. to SNSA. Yeah.